G'day guys, how cool is this? I've found myself over the west coast of Australia We're doing a bit of a road trip So I've got the car loaded full of fishing gear, camping gear, spearing gear Let's go get back to basics Alright, we found a spot here that's got some nice clear water We're going to jump in and see if we can catch anything for lunch All my mates from WA reckon these guys are the best eating crayfish in the country. Today I'm going to find out. Just going to take the tail meat out of him. Alright, and that's what we're going to be having for lunch. I'm going to cut him down the middle, split him open. A little bit of garlic on top, cooked on the pan. There you have, just like you'd find at a restaurant. About a kilo worth of cray tail meat. All right, let's take him up to the kitchen. All right, while we're getting lunch ready, looks like Fran's heading out to catch dinner. There's a couple of bommies and like fringing reef around here and it's so clear you can see it from where we are. So she's gonna head out and have a look. You never know, she might come back with some dinner. For lunch today, we're gonna do sweet potato chips and crayfish. So just chop one of those sweet potatoes up fine. It'll end up looking something like that. There we are, these little gas mates are so convenient. Pull them out wherever you are, turn them on and they fire out a bit fair bit of heat. So we'll let this pan heat up, throw a bit of oil on him. In go your chips. I guess there's a fine line between back to basics and being completely unprepared. And I think we're sort of treading that line today. We've got a sweet potato and we've had to catch our own um, protein, which is a crayfish. But other than that, we're pretty limited. Apart from one key ingredient, it's going to come out when that crayfish goes on. I'll tell you what, these are almost cooked just putting them on the rock, so it's so hot today. <laughs> Alright, now the star of the show. The crayfish is going straight on there. It just gave him a light garlic dusting as well, so you can smell that. That smells so good. That's him done. Alright, turned him off. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to flip him over. Let him cool down. The hardest thing now is keeping my sticky fingers off this until it cools down. But a couple of minutes and that is going to be ready to go. How good. The crayfish caught just out there and some sweet potato chips for lunch. This is living. What do you reckon, Fran? Get into it. Mmm. How is yeah. it? Oh, wow. It's really it's good, so eh? Tough. That is so, so good. That little bit of garlic over the top has um, given it that sort of crunchy, burnt look. Although the flavor is 10 out of 10. It's so, so nice. Mate, how bloody lucky are we? With everything crazy going on in the world at the moment, you can come to a place like this, swim off the beach, crystal clear water, catch your own crayfish, come back and have a meal like that with your family and friends. This is just, to me, this is what it's all about, and this is living, eh? As good as it gets. And I won't even whinge about doing the dishes. 